Hey everyone, um, Harrison here. Uh, so, I move around in this chair a lot. Uh, early this morning I heard about uh, an attack that happened in Norway. There were actually two attacks, um, and I'm just going to talk about those really quick because uh, it's really, really devastating to, to hear about. So, I just read up about them. I don't have any notes or anything, so I might um, be thinking about whatnot in one. So, here goes. So, early on Friday morning, uh, there was a bomb that went, was set off in the in the Capitol building, I, I'm pretty sure, in Norway. So, in Oslo, Norway. Um, and uh, it killed, I think, seven people and uh, left a few injured and uh, blew up the whole building. Um, so, that in itself is pretty, pretty intense, pretty scary. Um, the second part of the attack happened in Utoya. Uh, I may be wrong in the pronunciation, but it's about a 500 meter stretch of, of land in the middle of, uh, of Norway on a lake. Um, the mainland is a few is a few hundred yards out, I'd suspect. And uh, what happened was uh, the it's suspected that the same man that uh, bombed Oslo, the, the, uh, the capital building, um, also shot um, close to 80, 81, 80, 80, 81 to 85 suspected victims uh, for all in the age range of 12 to 19. The children that were killed were all politicians' uh, children, so it is very a political attack. Uh, it was said that the man uh, dressed up as a police officer and went into the camp uh, and told people that he wanted to talk to everybody because the kids were already in the uh, the commons area talking about the bombing that happened earlier that day when um, the cop came and started gathering kids together and then started shooting them now this is this is something that is completely uh, unknown to to Norway Norway is a, a pretty neutral area as most of you can tell um, or if most of you know and it's very neutral so it doesn't understand nobody understands really why uh, somebody would attack attack uh, anybody in Norway the suspect of the shootings uh, was a 32 year old blonde male uh, with identified as Anders Bering Breivik and excuse me for the pronunciation um, uh, on his Facebook page that was uh, set up a few days earlier it says right-wing extremist um, Christian on Breivik's Facebook page it says that he's also interested in bodybuilding um, conservative politics and Freemasonry it also says that he has interests in uh, video games such as World at War World of Warcraft and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 um, which I want to talk about that in a second uh, but also w the only tweet that he has from his Twitter account is one person with a belief is equal to the force of 100,000 men who only have interests. So, this is one of the largest attacks in Norway, if not the largest attacks in Norway since World War II. Before this bombing and shooting, it was noticed that Breivik had registered for a farm where he could acquire large amounts of ammonium nitrate fertilizer, which is also used as a very powerful explosive device. Authorities in Norway are still investigating to see if this is, these were part of the explosives that were used in Oslo. This is where I want to talk about the disturbing scene and sequence in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, where Breivik could have thought about this shooting. In Modern Warfare 2, there's a scene called No Russian. I think it's like the fourth or fifth level. It comes up with a quick reminder asking if you are over 18 or, and if you want to see very graphic, disturbing images. The scene is a group of four Russian extremists going through a Russian airport and literally shooting everyone in sight. Um, and in that video game, it kind of makes me think about how uh, the video game franchise can actually influence somebody. I'm not saying that that video game scene directly instigated this attack, but it is quite possible that it could have. Thinking about this just in hindsight, to think somebody could go and attack such a peaceful place like Norway 
um, and killing 80, 80 plus um, teenagers, like 12 to 19 of politicians' children, and they're still searching for bodies in the river of children that tried to jump out and swim away, swim to safety. It's very disturbing to think about, and uh, I ask uh, for your prayers to be with those in Norway, and remember that these things are very serious problems that we need to talk about, and I think this is something very important that needs to be brought to video game developers, uh, because video games do uh, directly influence children's lives and their actions, more so. So. Thanks for watching. Uh, give a like or a comment. Just let me know what you guys are thinking. If you didn't know about this Norway incident, um, go read read up on it. I got all my information from uh, the Reuters or the New York Times. Um, please just go look up on it uh, and do as much as you can. Thanks for watching. This has been Tone Rap. Bye.